Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 352. And as always, for the best live wallpaper of the weekend, it's called Live Pixels. Take a look at the background. You can see the pixels actually move. They make designs. They make pictures. They can spell things. The background is blurred, and it looks really good. I like this one. It's like little raindrops dropping on the line, and it's water. And the background will also change colors. It looks good. You're really going to like it. Number two. Toucher Pro. Now if you love customizing your Android phone, you can see that I'm going to touch this right there and we got a little floating circle here. Now it does go on the sides, you can choose where you want it to be and if we tap on it, we get this little drop down. And this is just one theme, you can totally make it look different. There's a time, there's the calendar, your calls, texts, and your shortcuts here that you can change and add. But you can also touch on them and it'll go right to where you would like it to go. And then you get other settings here that you could go and toggle with. If you double tap it or bring up your recent applications, you could hold on to it longer and it disappears. Bunch of different themes here that you can download and make it look different. We click on apply. We got this one, this is the stock one. And we can see that it's just brought up right here. You can swipe through the pages. You also got the weather right there. Number three, Notibox. Now what this application does, it keeps track of all your notifications just in case you are one of those people who accidentally dismisses them. You know, sometimes you do that and then you didn't know what it was. Every notification that you will get will show up on here and you can disable certain ones. You could have it everything within a day of notifications. They'll be on here to search for or you can do a week just in case you want to go back to something that you already dismissed you can get that back because that's something you don't get normally on android there's the recent applications that you get notifications there click on the noti box since i haven't read it yet and it shows up there those are the recent notifications and if you want to be not disturbed you turn that on so it's no notifications that are going to be bothering you i think it's useful definitely go try it out for yourself number four wave keyboard now check out my keyboard definitely different than what you're used to if you notice and you can see that's kind of live the animation is a guitar on fire this is just one theme fire on ice and there it is you can see a little eyeballs and it turns a little mean i think the storm is my favorite one right there i like the little lightning effects the keyboard takes a little bit getting used to since it's kind of larger and you'll still get your emojis there you see it looks a little bit different than androids other than that there's not much you can change but if you like trying something new you're probably gonna like this so go try it out for yourself. Number five, mini for Facebook. I don't really use Facebook first of all, and second, a big battery drainer, and then you have to have their messenger app separate from the application, so you have to have two apps for it. But those of you guys who've been wanting to get a slimmer, easier app like this, for example, click on this little tab, you can get all to your categories there. You know on your Facebook application, if you click on your chats, I do not really ever read any messages here on Facebook. I got 660 unread messages. <laughs> All about Twitter and email and YouTube comments. That's the way to reach me. And I, sometimes I get on Messenger. But like I said, I only have it to post stuff so you guys can, you know, interact with my posts, not direct messages. So here, if I click onto it, I can actually have the conversation without having the Facebook Messenger separate app. So nothing really different with mini Facebook other than it's really slim. And then if you're scrolling through pages and you push on this little tab, scroll all the way up and if you've gone through a whole bunch of different pages and links you can press back and it'll go right back but there's nothing to go back to number six artisto now you guys remember my last review of prisma where you take pictures and it alters your photos this is a video version of that moving around okay so i just recorded that and you can see there's little filters here that can take it to this look style there's a new moving around you can see my desk so let's move that and you can go into a different one. Let's see what this gives it a look. See my desk is kind of a little bit dark. It does it very fast. I think it looks great. You're going to like messing with this application. Go try it out for yourself. Number seven, Duo. Okay, pay attention. G5 to the Nexus 6P. I'm going to do a call. It's showing you the call before I even pick it up. It's telling me where it's coming from. And that's so cool. Look how quick it is. Swipe up to answer. So what this is, is basically FaceTime for Android. As you can see, if you looked at the quality, you're going to see that it's actually pretty high quality. This is coming from my front facing camera. We're going to see some inception here. 
So if you're not a fan of Hangouts, then you might like this application called Duo. It's brand new. It's very simple. Literally, all you do is just call each other within this phone. And let's do that again. Okay, so I'm working on my computer stuff. My friend decides to call me. And I'm going to be able to see what he's doing. So you can imagine what other things they'd be wanting to show you. <laughs> Who's calling before? If you want to answer, just swipe up. So that's how simple Duo is. If you don't want to see what people are doing before the call, you can turn it off just in case they're going to do something dirty <laughs> when you're at work. Go test this out. You can do it with iPhone on Android, but you have to have a phone number because it ties in only one to one. Number eight, play games. Everybody should have this application. It's called Play Games. You can save your data and get achievements and leaderboards. It's like my gamer tag right here. You can see all the games that I play. I'm going to make a whole dedicated video on this application. If I click on Clash Royale, you're going to see there's a little record button right there. This is how you can make videos straight from your device. You can see this 480p and the 720p you can record for 37 hours worth. So now that we're in the recorder, it's launching the game and we have a little camera here. Check it out that we can have our face in it. You can disable that if you don't want it to show your face. And I'll be pressing the record button right there and in three, two, one, it's gonna record. And so right now you can see the bubble right here. I can move it, play this game like all the time, but that's in the way now, so move it and then end up doing your gaming. So this is how you're gonna record the game. If I leave the game, what's gonna happen is that it still records, so you got your session going on. But if I click onto it and then I press stop, it's gonna record the session and video save to the gallery, click on it, or you can upload this right to YouTube. If you never knew about that, you should be able to try it when you're on 5.1 and above. Number nine, Emoji Maker. Now there's a lot of Emoji Makers out there and there's a lot of favorites, but this is one that actually wasn't too bad. There's a lot of different hairstyles that you can choose from. The skin tones, eyebrows, eyeballs, the nose, face accessories. Then if you scroll down towards the bottom, you got some like, superheroes, costumes that you can put yourself on. Ooh, look at those cleavage there. Put on a cute little bow. And then you got some hand gestures like this one. <laughs> you can choose a background note saying it's Friday. And then the stars, you can actually have templates of already other ones. And if you're ready to save, you just press save or share. And I'll show you the one I made. So you can see it's just a quick mess around application. Do my thumbs up at the end of the video. Glasses, I'm doing my swoog lips. Number 10, Nexus Launcher. It's not the same launcher that I had before because the other one was Nova. This is the Nexus Launcher. And anyone can use this on their phone just like Nova Launcher. You can swipe up and you will open all your applications. There's no longer a little button that you press the app drawer to open it like you know there's no there you just swipe up into it and you get it you can search for applications there's a little tab scroll through it and that's pretty much it there's the application folders of what they look like so that's pretty basic and bare bones you can see the date and also your google now launching there if you want it to look like this, you can't really get it off the Play Store. You have to download off a link, and I'll have a link provided below so you can download that as well. And I'm back to the one I was at. There you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 352. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Share the video. It helps me grow. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Visit techswoog.com, which is my website. Soon I'm going to be uploading APK files of these applications. So it'll make exact copy. So if you guys can't download this application from the Play Store, you'll be able to at least download the file to download onto your phone and they will be safe because I will be making the files for you. It will take me a few to get there, but for now it's just more of getting the website running. But that's it for me. I'm on my Nexus 6P and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. Oh yeah, I'm also getting the Note 7. And it comes tomorrow or Friday. And I'm very excited about that phone. Later.